hey guys hope all of you are doing good welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you step by step how we can scrape data from the internet let's get started right away with the video as usual to begin with we'll import a few packages as you might have seen in previous videos i'll import this package called as request this helps us request a particular website to access certain data from the website next step we would import our usual packages OS and if we need pandas later we could also import that for safety and then I'm going to import another package which is called as beautiful soup this beautiful soup is actually a wonderful way to scrape data from the internet it's a nice package which gives us certain functions which helps us implement what we want in a very straightforward way okay so first I'll run this so I've imported the packages which is the first step next step is from where are we going to actually try to scrape the data so I have this link open here so from Flipkart as you might all know Flipkart I have a web page open where they, I think they sell like slim blue jeans or something and I want to get this value of price right 1524 as my output so I'll just copy this URL basically okay and I will assign it a value URL 1 and I'll just put it within that right so that is the URL from which we want to actually scrape that data and we want to scrape the pricing data right like basically the value 1524 okay so that is done next step is we need to write a function to tell python to perform a sequential operation and try and extract the required value that we need okay so i'll define a new function call it say extract since we want to extract data and the argument is obviously the url right so i'll put it inside and uh, now i'll start defining what needs to be there in the function first step as you may all know is to actually try and request a particular web page so i'll give it a name web page and i would say request dot get of url okay this is the first step and this will work for almost all websites more or less you can use the same format so you are requesting the website first step then second step once we get the request approved we want to get the content of the website right so we would say web equal to web page dot content so whatever the web page contains i want to see the content this will give us like content more like in a very raw html kind of format as a next step i would assign it to a variable called soup and i would say please do it in a nice format for that we could leverage this beautiful soup function so we would say beautiful soup of the content that we got which is web comma and i would say html.parser so this will give us a more like syntactical kind of format for the web page and then next step if i say print of soup right suppose we want to see what this is i would say print of soup okay so this is the function i have defined in order to run this function for this particular url and output the result i'll create a new variable called result for example okay i'll i'll and i will say result is nothing but please perform this function which is extract of url for this url value in url1 what this means is please perform all these steps in this function where url value is substituted by url1 value and url val value we already know right it's particular link okay so so i've run this function already and now i want to see result when i run this you'll see what we get we get the full syntactical form like there's like literally too much of information from that particular web page now we need to be prudent and try to just find that particular element right for price so i will just clear this output okay so instead of printing so we need to do something else so i'll go back to the web page right here and all you need to do is you can go here and just say uh, right click and inspect okay and once you inspect so you will see when you go here 1524 you see this 1524 value is within a div class right so div class and the name of the class is this within double quotes it starts with the underscore and it ends with the d right so if we can find a way to locate this particular div class then it's straightforward to get the value 1524 so i'll just copy this element okay 
and I'll go back here and what we are going to do now is so in this particular value of soup right we got the full HTML format of the whole page we want to locate a particular value so I would say value is equal to soup dot find so we can leverage the find function and we would say what did we want to locate we wanted to locate a div class so we would say div I would put a comma and then I would open a flower bracket this is like the syntax so we want to locate a div inside div we want to locate the class and the name of the class is this one I'll just copy paste whatever I copied from there I mean everything gets copy pasted I just need the value I'll remove all this again and yeah, after also I can remove all this so all I need is just this so I want to find div class with the value this right so this will give us the div class and as a next step say I create a new variable m and I say I want to find the text within this div class so how we can do this is I would say a value dot text right so value would find us that full div class and inside that I just need the text and I am assigning it to a variable call m and finally I can say print m okay so we will get the value of m so first we locate the div class then we get the value of the text and we try to print that text so I will run this function again and now when I run this result you will see the value 1524 comes right bingo so we get the price value right super useful way as you see just a few lines of code and you could actually extract the price value suppose you wanted to do it for multiple web pages right maybe you want to extract it for 10 20 pages I'll just give you a format for say two pages and you can just keep adding on it so I have another web page here which has a price 449 this is some regular jeans so I'll just copy that URL okay and you could add it to this URL one as well so you can just put a comma put an enter and yeah I'll put it within double quotes so now I have two URLs so I'll run this again the function again I'll just run it once okay now what will happen is so for result it will perform the function for URL in URL 1 so basically it will first do it for the first URL then for the second URL because both these are within URL 1 right so when I run this you'll see we'll get the value 1524 and then we get the value 449 right so if you want to add hundreds of URLs you can just keep putting a comma and keep adding the URLs and just execute the same function you are going to get all the values you see how powerful this is imagine extracting prices from 100 different web pages it can be completely automated using Python I hope you enjoyed the video I'll see you again in another video till then take care bye